Hello, Mr. Collier here. Today I'm going to give you some notes on energy. Now, energy is a huge topic that's going to show up in every branch of science. So today I'm going to give you a brief overview, but then I'm going to eventually focus in on what we're going to talk about in physics, uh, which is mechanical energy. So first, let's get a working definition of energy. Uh, energy is often considered the ability to do work. And work in physics is applying a force over a distance. Uh, if it helps you think about it, it's really just something that has the ability to cause motion or cause a force. Another way to think about energy is the ability to create change. And there's lots of different things that could change. It could be something like temperature, speed, pressure. Uh, all of these, though, ultimately come back to that applying a force and making something move over a distance. Let's look at some examples and think about how exactly they're causing there to be change. So a moving ball, for example, has energy because as it moves through the air, it can hit the air, it can hit other things, and whatever it does interact with, it's going to create forces uh, and cause change in motion. Another type of energy would be when something's not actively moving, but could be. For example, at the top of a hill, a sled has energy because it could go down the hill. And this gives us the first main branching of types of energy, which is the difference between kinetic, or energy of motion, and potential. And I'll talk about them more in slides to come. Wind has energy, and again, this would be an example of energy of motion, because it's moving, and it can cause uh, forces on objects in its path. Electricity can cause uh, motion in a motor or many other things. And we're going to look at electricity and how it's formed. And gasoline is another type of potential energy or stored energy because it can be burned to create a, a release of energy and make things move. And of course, a person has energy. We can create forces. Now, this is not obviously an extensive uh, list. This is just a few different things that are examples of different types of energy. Energy is measured in joules. These are the units that we're going to be using in this chapter. And a joule is the amount of energy it takes to move with a one newton force a distance of one meter. So we often say that a joule is equal to a newton meter. Now a joule is not very much energy. It's a fairly small amount. For example, a 100 watt light bulb uses 100 joules of energy each and every second that it's running. And I want to take a second to point out that we've really only been working with uh, a few units rearranged in a lot of different creative ways. So if we went back to sort of where we started with this physics stuff, we looked at uh, distance measured in meters and time measured in seconds. Then we put those together to talk about speed, meters per second. We talked about how speed can change each second, and we said meters per second squared for acceleration. Then we said that if you take a mass and accelerate it, we call that a force. So kilograms times meters per second squared gives us the units for force, or newtons. And finally, now we're putting newtons together with meters to get joules. All of that's just to say that there are a lot of different units, but most of them in physics are coming from a few simple units rearranged in a lot of different ways.